Well, he is considered a judo legend. We're talking about Yosh Yoshida here, coaching the first U.S. Olympic judo team and put San Jose State on the map as a powerhouse in that sport. Tonight, there was a special celebration for the coach ahead of his 103rd birthday. NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favreau was there. This celebration was originally planned for Mr. Yoshida's 100th birthday, but then COVID came along and they had to cancel it. So now as he nears the age of 103, people can come together once again to celebrate him. As Yoshu Chida prepares to blow out 103 candles, he admits he's worn a lot of hats in his lifetime, from judo legend to Olympic coach to entrepreneur. So which is he most proud of? Rupert Pass uh, has been coaching the team. Not just any coach, Uchida is the founder of San Jose State Judo. He coached the first U.S. Olympic Judo team in 1964 and has turned out 20 Olympians who have brought home four medals. And even as he's about to turn 103, he's still giving back to the judo program at San Jose State. This is a photo of him showing the team a move on the mat. He still comes to practice fairly often. Yeah, um, up until this semester, he's there at least like three times a week. Uchida is also credited with establishing a weight class system in judo. Yoshi Uchida had judo included in the Olympics and become more popular in this country. So I call him the Bruce Lee of judo. Outside of judo, Uchida also served in the U.S. Army during World War II while his parents were sent to live in an internment camp. He started a successful medical lab business and was instrumental in investing in Japantown in San Jose. During an event tonight emceed by NBC Bay Area's Mike Inoue and Robert Honda, people came together to honor Uchida, including his family. Well, his biggest legacy, of course, is for the judo. Um, but to us, it's how he's brought, brought people together. And tonight, once again, he's bringing people together. In San Jose, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.